Hi, I'm Chris Berha. In this video, we're going to talk about converting decimal to binary. We have a uh, decimal 60. We're going to convert the decimal to binary. Then, under the binary digit, we're going to have these numbers 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. How do we get this one? These numbers. Since binary is by, which means 2 binary base to the second power. So each of them, we raise 2 to the second power of 0 is 1. Second to the power of 1 is 2, 2 to the power of 2 is 4, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, 2 to the power of 5 is 32, 2 to the power of 6 is 64, and 2 to the power 7 is 128. Then, we have here the decimal number of 60. 60, 128 cannot fit on 60, so we put here on 0. 64 cannot fit on 60, so we put 0. 32 can fit on 60, we're going to put it 1. And under 60, minus 32 is equivalent of 28. Now we have 28. 28. 16 can fit to 28. Yes, we put 1. And then we'll deduct 16 on 28, which is equivalent of 12. Then 8 can fit on 12. Yes, we're going to put 1, and we'll deduct 8 on 12, which is 4. Is 4 can fit on 4? Yes, so we'll deduct 4, which is equivalent to 0. And next is 0, 0. Now, 60 is converted to binary which is 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. 124 subtract 64 equals 60. Is 32 fit on the 60? Yes, so we put 1 over here. 60 Subtract 32, it equals 28. Is 16 fit to 28? Yes, we put 1. And then 28 subtract 16 is 12. Is 8 fit to 12? Yes. We put 1 again. 12 subtract 8 is equals to 4. Is 4 fit to 4? Yes. So we put 1 again. And 4 subtract 4 equals to 0. Is 2 fit to 0? No, we put 0. Is 1 fit to 0? No, we put 0. Now, we have now the decimal numbers of 252. Now, we have 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, which is our binary numbers. 
This is the conversion of 252 decimal number. I am Chris Berha. Thank you for watching my video. Do practice. Bye.